Hey YouTube, this is a follow-up on the RL550B in basic practice and uh, use for my application, which is uh, 45 ACP. Strictly bought this press for that. Anyhow, just wanted to basically ask a question. As far as the way it loads, it's slower than the uh, than the other press that I've been using for the past eight years, the Hornady uh, Lock and Load Auto Progressive. It's a little bit like driving this exact same car and going from a an automatic to a standard stick shift. You know, it just takes a little more time to uh, to do the things that are necessary to get from point A to point B. Uh, but you know, that being said, the uh, the lock and load auto progressive. Basically, I just got comfortable with its uh, functionality. And uh, all I had to do, if uh, you go back to the the uh, driving the car analogy, it's kind of like just monitoring your instruments uh, as opposed to having to also manually shift the car. So anyhow, uh, back to this. Uh, the real issue that I'm having here is mainly in using a, a powder cop die, which has to be seated back over here, whereas on my Hornady, um, this is the front position. Um, I could s have it sit right in this spot here. And in this spot, it's easily visible because the stem is right in front of you. Whereas on the Dillon, um, I mistakenly thought you could move the powder drop around. Although I never did that before when I borrowed couple of these but you know I never wanted to mess with their press I just always had thought well it seems like you can just move this powder bar around and maybe you can I'm just not aware of it because everything else is kind of locked into how it needs to be seated you couldn't really move this this uh, shell plate uh, well it's not the shell plate it's below the shell plate but whatever this is to activate this bar you would have to actually run without this if you were going to move it around which my understanding is that's not a good thing. So uh, that leaves me with just that spot for the powder check. And the issue with that is that I'm having to actually sit at a 45 to be able to regularly monitor it. And the only problem with that is as I put in a bullet, they have to go over this this way. Which basically I have to stick my hand through the press and then with the with the right hand I'm having to feed uh, if that makes sense the cartridge onto the the D primer and so having to do that you're basically having to reach around and then reach back you know and then I mean it, it, the operation is good but you see where I have it set that's a good charge of powder and I know it's accurate and so that's the only real issue and that's really what's slowing me down now, I know a lot of you uh, do not have the powder cop die and maybe that's for good reason but uh, unfortunately you cannot on this 550 use the Dillon um, audible powder check which is what I also thought you could use, although I hadn't seen it on there. Maybe you can adapt it, and that's really the point of, of the video, is a, a little assistance if if you guys uh, know how I can best use either the, uh, the powder cop die that I have, or if there's a way of making the um, audible one work. And uh, that was, that's the only thing I can think of. I, I mean, as far as the, uh, the uh, system goes I'm gonna also look into Hornady I understand has a a die and RC uh, RCBS they have a, a lockout die which I might go with as well so let me know if either of you have have tried that how it's worked for you and that way it'll get me back in the position to where you should be which is dead on and then makes things easier moving since you have to uh, put on top the bullet and the insert the case to get a smooth little rhythm uh, That's what needs to be done. And that's what I'm trying to do so that I can maximize my time and Maximize the amount of cartridges. I'm able to load in any given session 
So help me out if you can. Give me some thoughts. Let me know uh, what you've used. Uh, short of not using anything, I'm a little suspect on any machine that I that I load with that I want some sense of a powder uh, check, just in case the the uh, feed uh, the uh, powder system for whatever reason drops too much powder or no powder. It's difficult to tell on any machine really without just looking in it. And I do not stand up now. I know some of you might use a a stand and I thought about that except that if you look at my setup here you know it, it really doesn't lend itself to raise this up and onto the bench because then I'm really limiting myself I'd have to pull the shelf off and you can see that I have the other uh, press loaded next to it so anyways that's the whole reason for that plus I don't want to go through the expense of having to do that just to stand up I'm sitting on a uh, on a chair that's elevated you know like a, a bar stool type thing and so it's very comfortable in this position and the arm um, I have the roller coming from Dylan uh, that will hopefully make things a lot easier as far as the pull because I'm at the 45 angle if that makes sense this will be nice to have as opposed to the ball which is unless you're straight up it's probably um, easier to use it is easier to use just like that pulling straight down but when you're having to do it at an angle it makes it a little more of a hassle anyhow give me some thoughts Owen if you're wondering this little uh, this little uh, uh, socket that I found at a at a pawn shop uh, for 50 cents I've never seen these but they're knurled which is perfect because I ended up getting a 7 16 knurled knob shoving some uh, Pro pack uh, 10 mil tape in there, which is very sticky type tape, and it's a uh, plastic line backing. Anyways, I shoved that on there. It seems to work real well, but I have noticed in general that the powder measuring system, for whatever reason, each session that I start, I have to go through a couple of charges because it increases. I don't know if it settles, and that's the reason why or what it is, but um, just a, a small inconvenience that's really not. Uh, too bad but otherwise it's a fine machine for uh what i'm using it for anyways give me your thoughts thanks